Hello and welcome to Calix TV. Today is Wednesday the 15th of June. US commercial insurance rates rose by less than 1% during the first quarter of 2016, according to Willis Towers Watson's latest Commercial Lines insurance pricing survey. The results continued a three-year trend of smaller increases. Price changes in the first quarter for most class of business were generally in line with the changes in the fourth quarter of last year. Commercial auto prices increased the most, driven by poor claims results. Lancashire's Lloyd's Arm Cathedral has brought in John Barnes as its new head of property, the insurance insider has revealed. Sources said that Barnes, currently deputy active underwriter and head of property at Argenta Syndicate, will join Cathedral next year after his contractual responsibilities have elapsed. Barnes, will, who will report directly into active underwriter Richard Williams, will have oversight of the property treaty book, which represented 37.5% of Cathedral's £248 million of premiums in 2015. Incoming head of property treaty is the latest in a number of hires at Lancashire as it seeks to replenish its ranks following a major walkout. Now, a vote to leave the European Union in a referendum next week in Britain would trigger tax hikes and spending cuts, according to Britain's finance minister, as stock markets sank on the increasingly likely prospect of Brexit. George Osborne, who is campaigning to remain within the 28-member bloc, announced today that schools, hospitals and the army would all have their funding slashed if the pro-Brexit side prevails. The in intervention comes as polls indicate a surge in support for leave just before, uh, days before the uh, referendum next week. Authorities are searching for a child who was dragged into the water by an alligator near Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa in Orlando. Um, Orange County Chief's Office spokesman Rose Silver said the two-year-old boy was snatched and dragged into the Seven Seas Lagoon at about 9.30 last night. Um, deputies were continuing to search for the child and local authorities called in the help of an alligator trapper. Police officials said the father of the boy entered the water and tried in vain to grab his son as the alligator dragged him into the lagoon. At some point the mother may have also entered the water according to the official. The Governor of Tokyo has submitted his resignation after weeks of pressure on him to step down over allegations of misusing public funds. Yoshi Matsu, uh, who announced his decision to quit today, was facing a no-confidence motion and was set to be introduced later the same day. The Governor has come under intense pressure in the Tokyo Metropolitan Assembly for allegedly using money for family trips, artworks and other expenses. His resignation will take effect on June 21st. Police in Bangladesh have arrested 3,245 people in the past 24 hours as security forces continue their crackdown on those suspected of involvement in the slaying of secular activists and religious minorities. The total, total number of suspects arrested since the campaign began on Friday stands at 8,192, 8 according to police sources. At least 103 of those arrested were tied to the spate of killings targeting religious minorities and sect activists with about 6,000 on other charges related to firearms, drugs and other offences. A man with known psychiatric problems has stabbed a 19-year-old girl three times in western France yesterday, telling police he heard voices ordering him to make a sacrifice for Ramadan. The attack in Rennes came only a day after a jihadist killed a French police couple in a small town near Paris in a stabbing inspired by the Islamic State group. Um, that's all from us today. We'll be back with you at the same time tomorrow. Until then, thank you. Goodbye.